Hey, this is Saida, one half of this channel, Travel Check-Ins, and I'm so glad you're here. In this video, I'm sharing what we ate, paid, and our thoughts after eating at Paige's Okra Grill in Charleston. If those are the kinds of videos you like, you're in the right place. Here at Travel Check-Ins, my husband Jermaine and I dive into the realm of hotels, restaurants, and travel destinations. We share reviews we believe will help you plan your travel better. But before we begin, do me a quick favor. If you find this video helpful and informative, don't forget to hit the like button below. I'd also love for you to subscribe to our channel if you want to keep discovering amazing travel experiences. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to join our community for exciting adventures. We're trying to reach 2,000 subscribers and your support means everything to us. Thank you for tuning in and let's get started. Today we're headed to Pages Okra Grill in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. Mount Pleasant is about a 15 minute drive from downtown Charleston so very easy to get to. If I had to classify Paige's Okra Grill, I'd say it's a casual dining restaurant with a laid back ambiance, so don't feel like you need to get dressed up. According to their website, Paige's Okra Grill combines simple southern cuisine with the casual elements of traditional coastal seafood. The website also says they use fresh, seasonal, local ingredients and dishes sourced from local farms and seafood suppliers whenever they can. Now, I didn't do an inventory or delivery inspection, but I can tell you my taste buds believe the ingredients to be fresh. For our orders, Jermaine ordered the Charleston's Best Seafood Platter for $26. It comes with a pan-seared crab cake, jumbo shrimp, and a crispy fried flounder filet. I believe it also came with two sides and he chose french fries and fried okra. I ordered the low country crab cake, which was $16, and it was two pan seared jumbo lump crab cake. I ordered these from the appetizer menu and it came with a pickled okra salad. The crab cake that's an entree is different from this one because that one comes with two sides. So this was our second time ordering food here. The first time was during the pandemic when we took our food back to our hotel room, but this time we ate inside. Both times we really truly enjoyed the food, but we had an issue with our order. The ingredients were very fresh both times, but we believe there's a breakdown somewhere in the system. The first time we ordered ours to go, we checked our food in the car and a crab cake was missing. Instead of them offering to remake our food, they only made the missing crab cake, so the rest of our food got cold while we were waiting, which was annoying. Which was why on this trip, we opted to eat in the restaurant to ensure that we could get our food nice and hot. Unfortunately, when our food came out and it was brought to the table, it was warm. It wasn't hot. I'm not sure if it was sitting on the warming shelf for too long, but it wasn't hot. Good thing though, we mentioned it to the server and thankfully our order was recooked. The manager even came over to ensure that we were satisfied. We really appreciate that because we truly like eating food here. I'm not a big fan of okra and if you're one of those people who tried okra and you didn't really like it, give okra another try. My husband had the fried okra, I tried it, it was very good. It wasn't slimy, it was nice and crunchy, superb. And then I also had this okra salad that came with my crab cakes that was very good. It had some pickled okra, they were nice and crunchy, they taste super fresh, no sliminess, the, even the little seeds inside of it was crunchy, very good, superb. It was just made in a different way that I had never tried before. And hey, if you're still watching the video at this point and you find this video helpful or you're enjoying this review, remember to hit the like button. Your support means the world to us and it helps fellow travelers discover the best experiences. Also, if you've eaten at Paige's Okra Grill or you have a favorite Charleston seafood restaurant, let me know in the comment section. The more information we share, the more informed we can be about our travel decisions. Now let me add a caveat. If you really like seasoned food with the flavors of Old Bay, melted butter and salt, then this food is not that. The seafood here is fresh in taste. In other words, there's not a lot of seasoning on it. Maybe some salt and pepper. All right, I'm gonna taste this crab cake. Mm. It's good actually, it's just not hot. So the big question is, would we eat here again? We would absolutely eat again. We believe Paige's Okra Grill has some of the best seafood in the Charleston area. 
And we truly hope that our authentic video that gives you the good, the bad, and the ugly gives you the information you need to plan your travels and possibly stop at Paige's Okra Grill when you're in Charleston. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. Then subscribe if you wanna see more of our Where to Eat in Charleston series. And if you wanna know where we stay when in Charleston, I'll link to that here.